I'm so tapped up, and this is Maze. Uh, this is going to be a real crazy one, I think. Um, so, first things first, uh, this game seems to have some performance issues. Um, there's a day one patch that fixes an issue with apparently NVIDIA cards with full screen mode. I'm playing full screen windowed, which, by the way, I'm super glad this game has. But um, this game seems to have some performance issues, at least in the very first area. Uh, regardless of what settings I put in here, I brought us down to 720p, and I fiddled with these, and the only thing that really seemed to matter was V-Sync, so I turned off V-Sync. That gave me about 10 to 20 frames somehow. Like, that's the worst I've ever seen V-Sync, you know, impact something. Um, hoping the, um, I didn't really start the game. I just wanted to double-check performance, and I'm glad I did. Uh, I'm, I do have an NVIDIA card, which the issue was with, though it said it was just for full screen. Um, I have a GTX 1060, so I was not expecting major issues playing a game like this, even at 720p. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to talk too much until we see some things, because there's some crazy stuff in this game, and I don't want to spoil it. I just want to see how the game presents it. Um, oh! Oh, I see. WSD. It has that extreme motion blur when you look around. Okay, performance isn't too bad right now. Maybe it was just... Hmm. Oh, wait, let me, let me double check. Oh! And... Yeah, not too great. But, uh, playable. <sighs> oh, well. The I guess there's a lot of foliage going on. I think this blur effect is intentional, by the way. Maybe the blur effect is what's killing the performance. <laughs> Wouldn't that be ironic? You tank your performance to make your game look worse. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, it's... I mean, I am playing at 720p, but it's... I think there's some visual blurring going on as well. Uh, that draw distance, and I still don't... Like, I... Uh, oh, big ol' thing or dinger. Oh, open door panel. Well, it's like a genetic scanner thing. Does anybody have a hand that might read in this thing? Any hands in this box? Box. A circular slot. Slot for a key. Slot for hand. Well, I don't have any of those. I apparently don't even have a hand. That or I just don't want to try it. Press escape, repeat, into the pause menu. Okay, yeah, that's pretty useless. At least it doesn't immediately exit when you hit the uh, escape button. One note, I've been in corn mazes before. Um, do not walk too close to the leaves. The leaves are like little blades. Um, they, they can catch you up a little bit. Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. Well, they sure are right about that. Was branching paths. I'm scared. Hold me. I'm sure I picked the wrong one. Oh! Maybe not. Oh, just a desk! Nice outdoor desk! Items you use will be added to your inventory. Story items will be added to your folio. Get the, the wafer. The English muffin! You did a great job picking up that item. A new path is open to me! Oh yeah! Can I eat the muffin? It looks delicious. Do I... I guess I need some butter for it first. A welcome note! Item added to folio. You're not just going to read it to me? Yeah, nice, nice scenic desk location. Oh. Why does the space bar open the folio? I was expecting to jump. Anyway, a lazily scribbled note. Includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes for the reader to mind the boxes and also says, Open the big door and we'll probably say hello. Don't tell me the English muffin opens the door. Press E to examine your equipped item. Hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try. <laughs> All you've done is given yourself a headache, so we're not the smartest. Basket of idiots, are we? Uh, not sure what that was. No, no, it's just that. Windmill this way. I want the windmill. Oh, it's just boxes. You could just... You know, I'm pretty sure boxes would not stop an adult human... Uh, I'm pretty sure you could just walk through the boxes, or possibly push over the boxes. Um, 
painstakingly lift the boxes and place them in a different location. All of these are options, my friends. Hmm. Yeah, I think this blur must be deliberate. I, I don't really like deliberate blur. I wanted to turn it off, and I figured maybe post-processing would turn it off, but no, it doesn't seem to. You see the place icon? You can use an item and use a click. Oh, I, I... The muffin is an equipment item, and I can use different equipment. I seriously do have to put the muffin in the slot, don't I? I think that is actually the thing. Ooh! I like what you get a little peaky inside of places. It's all spooky inside. Oh, there's things! Look at that dramatic outline. Alright, so I don't know what the deal is with the PC performance. I'll have to ask them and see if there's anything going on with that. I open chicken coop door. I, I I was really not expecting to immediately have issues, especially with a game like this. Um, since I just got the 1060, and I have not really been too impressed. I don't think it's the card's fault, for the most part. It's just been poorly optimized games, and um, my video editing program, Movie Studio Platinum 13, um, just happens to cut support for video editing, or er, hardware encoding, uh, for NVIDIA cards after a certain, or like, graphics cards in general. So like, my old card could use the OpenCL thing, and my new one can't, so I have drastically worse render times. It's not technically the card's fault, but it has been a hitch in my workflow. <laughs> Boring mystery novel! Excellent. Night Danger, a Rick Murphy mystery. Or Mick Murphy, whatever. Having no talent in the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the deck of buying a pair of pants. That sounds amazing. How do I... oh. You don't use the mouse, you use... that is... interesting. An invoice for a commission wooden statue costs in the hundreds of thousands. And this can include chopping down a large oak tree, carving statue of oak tree, and hospital for injury sustained chopping down oak tree. Oops. That's why you hire professionals, kids. Alright. What's this? An item can be placed here. I wonder what item could we could place there. It is a mystery. What is this? A wobbly wardrobe. Please don't tell me I have to place down the box in order to knock over the wardrobe. I don't know why this game looks so weird. Did this have a PS4 version? Maybe I should have checked out the PS4 version instead. I've... I've been kind of tempted to just ask for both a play, like a console and a PC version, just in case one of them is a bad port. Because I've gotten the bad port on more than one occasion, and I'm getting kind of tired of it. This is this is by all means playable, and I mean I don't think it's going to negatively impact my perform like exper experience. Um, in fact, I could probably knock up all the settings all the way to max, and uh, you know enjoy the 30 FPS, and it wouldn't really be a big deal. Though this didn't have a 30 FPS lock, so I didn't really want to force you to suffer through that. Um, barn, this way. Oh, there's boxes. Why are the boxes... The boxes are very... They're like bioluminescent boxes. Or boxoluminescent, if you wish. I kind of expected... Well, the things that we saw at the very start, I kind of expected we would see more of those earlier. I guess we're just kind of wandering around. I wasn't sure if I should spoil the thing, but it's pretty screwed up. If, if it doesn't... If the muffin does not lead us to victory, um, and it seems like it might be a little too boring, I think I might explain some things. Let me explain you a thing. Parker is sitting on my desk, and he's being very nice today. Yes, you are. He's just sitting all nice, and he's not getting in the way. The muffin doesn't go in there?! The muffin doesn't go in the thing. What do we even have? I don't even have the key anymore. Water. I... I didn't- this is not a game I expected to get lost in. Why can't I pick up one of those boxes and use it as one of the things? Of all of the games to get lost in, it's Corn Maze game. I guess, well, I guess Corn Maze 
I, I wasn't expecting the maze-ness to be so literal. Like, I thought this was like goofy, wacky, fun game. Oh, that is, that is some trippy, what is, what is that water shader doing? Or maybe it's the fence? I guess it's the combination of the two. Anyway, that makes my head hurt and I don't want to look at it anymore. Hmm. Press the English muffin button. This is not at all... Well, it's half what I was expecting. But... I wasn't expecting the full Mon mystery feel at the very start and just, you know, drop you in a place where you can't seem to do anything. Why can't I put my hand in there? Ah. Okay, so there must be something in the house, I guess. Because every other way is blocked. I thought it was so smart and I would put the muffin in the slot because it's round. But, but, but no? I've been fooled. It was a jape all along. I like this mist though. I'm not sure mist really settles on like cornfields like this, but I don't know. That red, the red boxes get, get drawn before the corn. It's a little strange. This thing's all freaking post-processed to hell. We must have missed something in here. Oh! Oh my god, I can't believe I went all the way around. And it was right there! Rancid corn oil! Ooh, delicious. Can I inspect the rancid corn oil? Oh, I can! Rancid, delicious rancid corn oil. Though the smell is strong enough to overcome a herd of yaks, you could use it to loosen something you need to remove. For some reason, the image of a gloved hand pops into your head, leading directly to walking straight into a wall! We're not the smartest of protagonists, are we? Despite what the name would suggest, this crate was specifically used to hold a large number of pine cones in order to start a collection. The collection currently starts at zero. Sausage grinder, something's jammed inside. Ah, oh, yes! Let me pour this rancid corn oil in it. Ah, oh, no? Hmm. This game kind of gives me a headache. An old sink, the sink is now plugged. Oh, medicine cabinet. Nail clippers! I'm gonna trim my nails. Oh! Ooh, never mind. Don't don't trim your nails with that. Vigilant as you uh, bleh. vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene, the only two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged in a wall and give you one hundred percent tetanus guarantee. That's it. Well, the sink is thoroughly plugged. Why did I do that? I poured I poured the thing in there old sink. The smell is more than you can imagine. Why would I do that? I I guess we're putting something in there at some point. Let's equip the crate. Put that placed fruit crate on the floor. Just go around the thing! Look, anyone of any build could slip their ass around that thing. Or just push it. Ugh. What on earth? Okay, let me clip my nails into the thing. A wobbly wardrobe. Just push it over! My protagonist has the stupid disease. I can't crouch. I keep trying to jump and it's just... Folio button. Why is it folio button? Oh, there's a thing. A bobby pin! Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your tr your day up to that point. And you didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. Oh, we're not very smart. Alright, now we can open. But why? But, but why? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn up the graphics just to see if it makes the weirdness, the visual weirdness a bit different, a bit better. Okay, yeah, I think that's about how it's supposed to look. It's still got a blur filter on it. Let me see my F, my Fs per S. It's actually, it's not different. The, I don't, this game just has, like, poor performance no matter what I do. So I guess I may as well just play on 1080p. I don't understand at all. Ah, uh, hmm. I kind of imagine this, my character is just so stupid, they're just like making rancid corn syrup stew. 
for no particular reason. This is, has nothing to do with actual gameplay, it's just a thing my character does because they're incredibly stupid. Why? What, what, what do... Why can't I use the thing? Let it highlight stuff, but oh. Press C to crouch and C again to not crouch. You can do this forever. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna crouch forever. This is the last video you'll ever see from me. Okay, there's a secret panel. Unlocked secret door, making it less secrets. <laughs> I do like this game's sense of humor. Open the secret door. I thought we would see more of the th the reason the game is called Maze. At least, I don't know. I'm not gonna spoil it though, because it's missing a fuse. But put the bobby pin in. Put the nail clippers in. I guess we need a real fuse. Ah, oh. fine art. Is that is that Leisure Shoot Larry like age 40? Is Leisure Shoot Larry already 40? I don't I don't know how old Larry is. That's like aged Leisure Leisure Suit Larry. I guess he's already pretty aged, isn't he? Where, what do we- oh. Open cellar doors. Weren't, weren't we already- Yeah, we were totally already here. Why is our hubcap here? This distance thing is bothering me. I'm just gonna turn up all the graphics. Just give me- Give me 100% graphics. The performance- is not as bad as it was before. Let me see what we're getting. Yeah, we're getting about 30. It's, it's it's not really a huge deal. It's the 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 ugliness was bothering me more. Um, ugh, no. It was it was a lot worse when I started. I thought that was a dude. That freaked me out. I thought that look look at that look at that. It looks like a dude in a suit with a little creepy white head. Look at oh, spooky. Um. We unlocked a secret door to a place we already had access to. Sometimes, sometimes my day at work feels like that. Um, well, I made myself sad. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, I guess there's something, there must be something else in the basement, right? Oh. Oh no, you're not a thing. I just see white. And it's like the thing in, in Uncharted. Like, they have the sparkles to help you find things, but then you start seeing sparkles everywhere, even where there don't be any sparkles. Why can't I use the, muff the muffin as a breaker? That's what I, I use. I use mush muffins in my fuse box. It smells a little, and the house catches a small amount of fire, but you know, it's worth the savings, really. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. I'm not sure I'm supposed to know what the fuck I'm doing. Why do I keep opening the folio? Why is that button not jump? Why would it be space? Why would they go to space? There's no reason for them to go to space! Alright, um... I guess I could use my newfound power to crouch. So it doesn't seem of any value at all. Oh, I'm stuck in the wall. Okay. We're, we're stuck out of the wall. Maybe I was stuck outside of the wall. No matter how many times you press it, Q still does nothing. Oh, wait, this is a new area, I guess. Oh, it's an outhouse. Heck yeah. A rusty nail jammed in a wall. My favorite variety of nail. Did I just pull out a nail with nail clippers? Well, it is a nail, so... Not sure that's how that works, but for some reason the first thing that pops in your head is that it would be a good conductor of electricity, possibly as a fuse. You are very strange. <laughs> a mediocre rock. I've seen better rocks. Why is that a folio item? I like these reviews of the items we get. Oh, that's like a default Unity asset rock, isn't it? <laughs> this is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It's absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. I see. Chauncey, you're a bit of a twat, aren't you? Alright. 
from from the description of this game, I was not exactly expecting this, but from the description of this game, I was also expecting the unexpected, which I guess could theoretically include this. Anyway, we're gonna go shove a nail in a fuse, which seems like an entirely safe thing to do. I uh, highly recommend it. Use a rusty nail against a fuse against safety regulations. Restored power to farmhouse. It is slightly less dark than before. Ah, oh, yes, this is slightly less dark. I would almost say moderately less dark. What what did that do though? I didn't really have. I'm hearing sounds. Oh, the TV on. Oh, look at that lamp. That is a good lamp. That is a nine out of ten lamp, at least. I I would pay fives of dollars for that lamp. Look, it's got the little the little tassels around the edge. Parker is perturbed by how excited I am about that lamp. He's got his ears all back. What you got, CD player? This doesn't seem like a CD player house, does it? This seems more like a cassette tape player at the latest. TCP secret. You picked up a CD. Good for you. A new path has opened to you. To the barn and silo. So... So just picking up crap opens the pathway. Okay. Is this is this the thing that we put in the thing? Hold the shift to sprint. Yeah, I noticed that. I'm sorry. Sometimes I do this thing where I just wiggle the mouse while I'm talking. It's probably pretty annoying. If you're stuck, remember to press E to examine your equipped item for clues. It's an old CD. The label faded. Yeah, that's, I mean, moderately faded, I guess. Press it on the first batch of CDs ever created. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest of symphonies sound like something like a cussed elephant would make while stumbling around a music shop. Okie dokie. Hmm. I don't know. The, the, the crappy FPS kind of adds a sort of feel to it. It feels like I'm drunk, which is kind of how I feel while playing this game. So maybe maybe it's just intentionally poor performance. A book titled Corn of the World. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Wonderful. I definitely like this game's sense of humor. I could deal with some better performance, though. I don't know. For fortunately, it's not like an action game, you know? I don't think we're gonna be like shooting corn rockets and, you know, doing triple barrel roll jumps and stuff. But still, I would I would appreciate some even Fs, Fs per S. Okay. What's this? Oh, I thought this was a shotgun. I was about to eat my words, but no, I shall leave my words uneaten. Broom. It's a pile of something or other you can sweep with this. We already knew that. What you didn't know is this broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way as the ghost is currently away on business. Oh, good. I actually did not know there was something to sweep, but uh, thanks for the cheats. Thanks for the spoilers. Gosh! One half of a diagram. That sure is one half of a diagram. I would say that's more like slightly more than a third of a diagram really a diagram torn in half oh my gosh there's 60 there's 75 items people diagram torn in half it contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen a drawing of a person and a dna helix looks very important you tried to eat it at first but change your mind when you couldn't find any salt we are not very smart parker you are obscuring ever increasing amounts on the screen i liked it better when you're sitting down then you were not obscuring the screen don't you twitch your fur at me? He's twitching his fur because I'm blowing on him while I talk. But if you weren't standing, I would not... The words would not... Yeah, there you go. He got upset and left. I told you I was talking at you. Alright, so... I think that's all we can find in the bar. Oh. Never mind, there's more. Oh, it's a silo, I guess. Oh no. Pathways. Corn mazes are actually pretty fun, but they take a long time. Um, I've only been to... I, did I go to two? I guess I went to two. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. Oh, it's blocked. 
It's impervious,ly blocked by a bunch of red boxes. I guess the red boxes make about as much sense as the rest of this game, so I'll allow it. Also, I was hoping that turning the graphics up to max would fix this weird draw distance business that's going on, but it, it really didn't. But, uh, whatever. Stop pressing Q. I'll press Q if I want to, Gerald. I'm gonna call this guy Gerald. You're a dick, Gerald. Oh. My friend. I don't think... I don't think whatever you did was as smart as you thought it was. Oh, he's got a hand. Oh. Why is his hand unrotten? Gloved. Oh, it's got a glove. Gloved severed hand. A, per a severed hand perfectly preserved in a glove that encases it. I'm not sure how that, that's how that works. It could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and find your will to get loosened to get that glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. And he's got a nice severed hand in my non-severed hand. A hat! A very fashionable fedora! A very fashionable fedora made weared by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head. You have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name. Fernando. A charred name tag. Dang. We are almost at a half hour. I, I really wanted... I, I figured the game would, would, would show you the thing before I, I might have to cut the video but but well I guess I guess you saw I guess you saw the thing earlier um, we're gonna open the, we're, no, I'm gonna open the, the thing before I spill the beans do you guys like beans I'm gonna spill them all right the silo can we get in the silo padlock do we have yes Open it with a bobby pin. I'm sure I'm glad my imbecile character knows how to open side, like padlocks with the thing. What is this? Oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta sweep it. Sweep that stuff. We got no, needle nose pliers. You saw something in that strange sausage grinder that could be removed with these pliers. Why do I know these things? You know this because you spent an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands. Oh. Well, thanks for the explanation. Making no progress whatsoever. Old telescope. I, I just took the entire telescope with me. A manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low hanging <laughs> trees. Possibly because the lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. How could I know that there are varying results? I thought there was like a body under this carpet. This is a very nice carpet! What is it doing in the silo? C0103, I guess. Item added to folio. Though it's hard to make out, the blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility with a farm situated on top of it. The facility itself looks like a set like a set an architectural record with the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. Oh good. That's that's the next stage, isn't it? Oh good. Let's take a quick trip around here just to see if there's anything sneaky. We gotta be sneaky, Charlie. Sneaky. Sneaky. Aw. I was too sneaky, Charlie. What? I don't think you're even supposed to be able to get back here, because there's there's no ground back here. Oh well, please don't get me stuck. Okay, I was <laughs> I caught on the geometry for just a second and I thought I was doomed. Okay, we're gonna open that door. Um, I'm pretty sure the CD opens that door. No, the hand! The hand and the CD, perhaps? But we don't have a key. <laughs> that bone on the severed hand. Alright. So, we... I like how... I kind of actually... Wait a minute. Why did we build all of this? I just noticed it says, why do we build all of this on the thing? Ah, <sighs> wonderful. Alright. Yeah, I kind of love that the game has stupid adventure logic, but it just explains the stupid adventure logic to you. That's actually a really elegant solution for how stupid adventure game logic is. I'm, 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 I really am enjoying this. Gl loosen glove from severed hand. Slightly disgusting. S slightly. That that is a very well preserved hand. Like dang, that is within the top ten preserved hands that I've seen. 
Ah, uh, that is... Uh... Once you manage to tear away from giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with his hand, you may not want to find an actual... You may want to find an actual use of it. It's not... It's not to start another round of high fives. Okay, that... It's so wrong. Why? It, had, it just had to put it on the wrong side. Just to remind you that that is not your hand. Strange grinder. See, so yeah, use the needle nose pliers on it. Warped key fob. Pulled warped key fob out of a solder, solder thing. Not an ideal place for it. Oh, there's the key fob for the thing ding. Warped key fob would be useful if you could flatten it back with its original shape. First, you tried to do this by staring very hard at it. It didn't work, so you set to find a tool that would do the job much better. Uh, do I smush it with this thing? What do I? What do I do here with this thing? Where did I see something that could smash a stupid warped key fob? I don't. All of these other things have made some modicum of sense because of stupid descriptions that it gave me. But I can't think of anything that would smash this. I thought we just had a straight shot to the thing. It's probably some. <laughs> Lovely. Um. Probably something we saw that I didn't think about. Um, man, I really wanted to. Wait, what's this? Broken shuffle handle. What a lovely human being. Oh, this is this. <laughs> this is that statue that they hurt themselves making. Oh, we can't go to the windmill! I want to go to the windmill! Maybe the windmill can help me smash this thing. Okay, probably not. Um... Frick. Should I spoil the thing? Because I did not want to get through a whole video and not have you see the thing that we are eventually going to see, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, just, just, just mash that mute button if you don't want to hear the thing. Just just for a few seconds. I'll, I'll crouch. After I've said the thing, if you don't, if you don't want to spoil it, but you probably already heard it, I'm probably just being a stupid butt. Anyway, there, there, there's, there's corn people, apparently. We, we saw them. You probably saw them. I'm probably being overprotective of the secrets, but I didn't want to spoil things, and the game didn't. The, this game, I thought that would show them sooner. Anyway, I'll, I'll crouch to let anybody. Nobody probably actually muted, did they? I always try to be cautious about spoilers, and I don't think most people really care. Okay, just... <laughs> just hand in slot. Please just, like, smash it with your, your freaking face hole. Ah, uh, well... I don't need the water. Well, we'll leave it at that for now. I'll wander around like a dork and see if I can find something to smash this up with. <laughs>